Good morning, Northtown. I'm Bryce Johnson. And I'm Jesus Morales. Today is Wednesday, December 13th. On today's show, bring you a midweek announcement update, world news, talk about winter sports, keep you up to date on internet trends, and much, much more. All on NTV News. This will be our last broadcast for the semester. Next semester, we're coming back with a new look and more featured content than ever before. Now, on the world news. Today in world news, President Trump turns around 20 years of American foreign policy and a man detonates a bomb in a New York subway. President Trump announced that the United States will now recognize Jerusalem at the, uh, the eternal capital of Israel, while also assuring that the U.S. Embassy will be moved to Jerusalem from its current location in Tel Aviv. Congress actually decided that Jerusalem was the eternal capital in 1995, but every president following that decision had held it off. The major decision undid decades of foreign policy in the Middle East, but the decision is certainly, impor uh, certainly important to the Jewish people. A low-tech bomb went off in a New York subway near Times Square. The suspected terrorist is a 27-year-old Akayad Ola. The ISIS-inspired terrorist claims he did, it, did the act of terror out of anger for the killing of Muslims worldwide. Fortunately, no one was killed, but Ola and three others were injured. In today's internet highlight, we look at the heartbreaking video of a child who's being bullied at school and the controversy around it. Keynes Jones is an 11-year-old from Tennessee, and his mother took a video of him speaking out about the bullying he endures on a daily basis. He explains in the video that the boys make fun of his nose, call him ugly, and said that he had no friends. After the video was posted, the response was enormous. Celebrities such as Chris Evans, Haley Steinfeld, and Snoop Dogg retweeted his video. But even with a lot of celebrity support, there has been a lot of backlash about the post to his mother's Facebook page. Featuring Confederate flags, Keaton Jones and his mother have responded saying that pictures were taken out of irony and that she wasn't racist. Also, his school has said that the situation was exaggerated and that has already been dealt with prior to the video being made. There has been a lot of confusion around the specifics and the story is still evolving. But the message to the, uh, the message is to end bullying is still clear. As we're coming up on the season of giving, one great way Northtown students are helping is through adopt a family. This year, Stuka has adopted four families and 19 people total. The ninth grade Avid is helping out with one family, but we need your help for the other three. Feel free to donate a dollar or any loose change you might have to the Stuco students. They are collecting through December 15th. Thank you in advance for your help. Here's Maxwell Franklin with more. Adopt a family is something that Northtown has been doing for many years. It's my second year of doing it. Uh, basically what it is, we have families that um, need a little extra help during the holiday season. Um, getting some getting some gifts and some basic necessities for their families. So it ranges anywhere from uh, moms, moms and dads, parents asking for a few things like pots and pans, or even I think the youngest one in one of the families is like six months. Um, one family actually has, it's only a mother, and they have six children. So, you know, there's definitely some need there, and, and we're really excited to be able to help them out with whatever they need. What a great opportunity to help those in need. In that spirit, self-development is doing a 12 Days of Kindness unit. In this unit, students learn about giving and having a servant's heart. So far, they have put up Christmas lights at the, Meth at the Methodist Church, told students and staff how beautiful they are, and made holiday cards for KU Medical. Last week, they put together three bikes to give to a nearby NKC family. Here's a closer look. Um, we're making cards and we're assembling bikes for, um, well, the bikes are for children that don't get a lot for Christmas. like. They don't make, a, like, their parents don't make a lot of money for them to get, like, stuff for Christmas, so we're helping them out with that. I know that with the bikes, we're helping out, like, about three families, so that's what we're trying to do is give out love and support for people that don't really get it. What a great way to spend kindness this holiday season. Now, let's take a look at what's buzzing around Northtown. If you ordered a holiday sweatshirt, those will be in this week. See Mrs. Dollinger for any questions. Sophomores and juniors, applications are now open for NCAPS, CTEC, NCC, and BTC. So please see Ms. Dicer or Hamilton in the Student Service Center. Hornets, all of your Play-Doh classes must be completed by the semester's end. The classes will be locked at the end of the semester. Come see the final performance of Mob's many off-Broadway shows. NKC students directed one-act show series in the auditorium. Four one-act plays for only $5 shows start at 7 p.m. on December 14th and 15th in the auditorium. 
Winter sports have been working hard. Let's find out more in your sports update. Monday night, our guys basketball team defeated Ruskin and will be playing Fort Osage on Friday. The JV girls basketball won against St. Pius on Monday, 29 to 23. The Varsity Lady Hornets placed in a tournament in Washington, D.C. And had, and had a win over Capital Christian, 51 to 44. Chandler Prater led all scorers with 26 points and 12 rebounds. LaJada Boylan had nine points and 16 rebounds. And Chandler was named MVP for the game. Congratulations to the wrestling team on taking first place at the Carlton Duels. Today they will have a duel against St. Joe. The Northtown girls swim team had their first swim meet on this, uh, for, of the season this last weekend. They did very well placing 10th overall out of the 30 teams. They are hoping to keep the momentum going forward into this Saturday where they will take on Blue Springs, Kearney, and St. Pius at the Gladstone Community Center. That's all we have for you today, Northtown. To stay informed all week long, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News. For photos and announcements, check out our Facebook page, NKC Journalism. And for information about athletics and activities, maps to games, and an electronic student ID, download the North Kansas City High School app. Thanks for watching, Northtown. Good luck on finals. And as always, it is a great way to be a Hornet.